Well, Japanese government officials have revealed the operator of Fukushima Daiichi was advised on tsunami risk two years before the accident. Documents show an inspector advised Tokyo Electric Power Company to implement better safety measures and did not urge it to take concrete action. The authorities released depositions by five people who testified before a government investigative panel. They include a former inspector of the now-defunct Nuclear and Industrial Safety Agency. The documents say that in September 2009, TEPCO officials told the inspector a tsunami from an earthquake could reach as high as 8 meters. The inspector then suggested TEPCO prepare as he knew the reactor's cooling pumps would be submerged should a tsunami hit. He also advised the utility to move equipment inside buildings. The documentation says a TEPCO official said the utility needed to consult the Japan Society of Civil Engineers. The inspector further testified he didn't push the plan to the point of earmarking a budget for it. The government panel concluded TEPCO believed the safety agency had approved of its decision to wait for advice from engineering experts. NHK has learned that the operator of the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant will get some help from overseas in its cleanup efforts. It plans to sign an agreement with a French organization to obtain technology to decommission the facilities. Workers at Tokyo Electric Power Company will initially focus on decontaminating areas around the reactor containment vessels. The toughest challenge will be removing molten nuclear fuel. The fuel is extremely radioactive. TEPCO plans to get technical help from the Alternative Energies and Atomic Energy Commission, or CEA. The group is funded by the French government. It has expertise in dismantling aged nuclear reactors and fuel reprocessing facilities. Sources say that under the agreement, CEA will help TEPCO develop remote-controlled robots that can withstand high radiation levels. It will also help train workers. TEPCO will provide CEA with data for the decommissioning process. This will be TEPCO's second collaboration with a foreign group. Last year, it signed an agreement with a British company to deal with the buildup of contaminated water.
Straight out of nowhere Here by the ocean We start the feeling Paradise in motion And you are the reason I release my fear I've known you For a thousand years Since the Canyon, we've walked to Eden. You are my heaven, and now I believe that the way is clear. As I'm walking to you, standing there with our whole. Last week, the Tokyo Electric Power Company dumped 850 tons of radioactive groundwater in the Pacific Ocean. Despite the warnings from environmentalists and fishermen, TEPCO released the contaminated water as part of their so-called sub-drain plan, which will lower the level of radioactive groundwater stored at the crippled Fukushima nuclear plant. Of course, TEPCO claims that the water has been deemed safe to release into the ocean, but fishermen in the area said even if that were true, they can't withstand more damage to their battered reputations. It's been more than four years since the earthquake and tsunami that crippled the Fukushima nuclear plant and forced more than 100,000 people to evacuate their homes. Yet TEPCO has barely scratched the surface of repairing that damage and cleaning up that massive disaster. The Fukushima disaster is too big and too complex for any company or country to handle on their own, and it's time that the world intervened. And it's time for our entire world to say, no nukes once and for all. A tractor-trailer rig hauling uranium catches fire in Massac County. Now, this happened just before 9 o'clock at the Honeywell plant in Metropolis. Investigators say the flames were quickly put out and the uranium was not affected. The Honeywell plant processes uranium for nuclear power plants. Still no word on how the truck caught fire. 